Hi, everyone. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for all the great comments and feedback for each video that I have uploaded to this channel. I am doing my very best to respond to all of your comments and will be catching up soon. Now, with that said, all right, math legends, let's see if you can solve this math problem first before I do. And you know the drill. If you got the answer or know the answer, let me know in the comment section down below and also subscribe to get more challenges like this one. Now, before I start solving three divided by three divided by two divided by two, take a close look at this 3D molecule right here. As you can see, it's made of two black spheres and six white ones. In chemistry, the black sphere represent the carbons and then the white ones represent the hydrogen. So we got two carbons and six hydrogens. My question for you all is, what do you call this molecule? Leave your best guess in the comment section down below. And now let's begin solving this problem. Three divided by three divided by two divided by two. Now I'm thinking of pandas and we work from left to right and three divided by three will go first. And three divided by three equals one, right? So I'll write one, and I want to turn one into a fraction because one over one equals one does not change to one. And then I'll bring down the division symbol down, right? Easy. And then bring down the two, but I also want to turn the two into a fraction as well to make the math easy like that. And then bring down the division symbol down and bring down the two as a fraction. So now we have this. Now we're gonna use that method, keep change flip. So we keep the first, then change the division symbol to multiplication, and then we're gonna flip this fraction. So the one will go on top of the fraction and the two will go at the bottom of the fraction. So it'll be written like this, one over one times one over two, and then we'll get an answer. And then this division symbol will change to a multiplication because we'll use the same method, keep change flip. And then we'll flip this fraction as well. So the two will go at the bottom and the one will go on top of the fraction. So it'll be written like this, one over two. And then just multiply across. So one times one times one is one and over one times two times two is four. So your answer is one over four, one over four. And there you go. 